Hey everybody, my name is Chris. In this video, I'll be answering your questions about the Little Cup and Go Battle League. My Azumaru isn't too happy about that because I can't use it in the Little Cup. Are you mad, Azumaru? <laughs> Do you want to give some shiny luck to the viewers? <laughs> Thanks, Azumaru. Hope you guys appreciate that. Smash that like button to thank my Azumaru. If you're looking for someone to answer your Pokemon Go questions or reply back to your comments like this one, this one, or this one, then make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. And without wasting any more of your time, let's jump right into these questions. How long will the Little Cup be around? Okay, so the Little Cup will run until Monday, November 16th, 1pm Pacific Time, 4pm Eastern Time. Next question. What Pokemon can be used in the Little Cup? Okay, so only first stage Pokemon that have a CP less than 500 are eligible for the Little Cup. So for example, Igglybuff is the first stage of Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. So it's eligible for the Little Cup as long as it has a CP less than 500. If you want to use Jigglypuff, you can't because that is a stage 2 Pokemon. So only first stage Pokemon that can evolve but haven't are eligible for the Little Cup. Moving on to the next question. What are the popular Pokemon being used? Okay, so some of the Pokemon I've seen a lot in multiple battles include Bronzor, Dino, Vulpix, Stunky, Kaini, Ninkata, and Houndor. Now I'm sure there's tons of other Pokemon that other players are using, but those are the Pokemon I've seen in my first 25 battles. Speaking of Bronzor, look who just floated right into the room. Hey Bronzor! It just wanted to give you some shiny luck. Moving on to the next question. Why should I try this season? Okay, so this season, Season 5, will be shorter than the previous seasons and only lasting 3 weeks. Therefore, the way to move up in ranks will be different in this season. So instead of behind the scenes ratings and using complicated calculations and numbers to move up in rank, in Season 5, all you have to do is win a certain amount of battles in each rank to move up to the next rank. So if you win a battle, that's a permanent count and you only move up from there. So with every battle you try, that's one potential step up to the next rank. Another reason you might try Season 5 is the fact that after you reach rank 7, you could potentially encounter Lugia as a reward encounter if you win enough battles in a set. So let's say you can't raid for Lugia because you don't have a raid group or you're in an area that doesn't have a lot of raids. Your alternative is to play Go Battle League, reach rank 7, and then try to win battles so you could potentially encounter Lugia as a reward encounter in your battle sets. Moving on to the next question, what other cups are happening after the Little Cup? Okay, so the next cup after the Little Cup is the Kanto Cup. And then the last week of Season 5 will feature the Catch Cup. If you want to see me cover those cups in more detail when they become available, then make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss those videos. Next question. Any top tips for beginners? So I'm in no shape or form a PvP expert. I know basic PvP knowledge and some strategies, but I am no experts like other YouTube content creators out there. I play PvP for fun, but I'll share some general tips. Tip number one is just to start with what you have. Find three Pokemon that have a CP close to 500 and just start with those. Tip number two is to study your opponents and what Pokemon they use. If you find a common Pokemon being used by multiple players, then perhaps maybe it's time that you try to use that Pokemon in your battles. Tip number three is just to practice. If it's possible and you have the time, try completing all 25 battles that you can do in a day. As you practice and battle more, you'll see common patterns being used by multiple players that you can learn from, and then you'll be able to anticipate sequences in future battles. And now here's some highlights from some of my Little Cub battles.
A quick shout out to my awesome viewers who commented on my last video. Thank you so much for commenting again. Thank you so much for engaging with my videos and helping my channel grow. For all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to me, thank you so much for subscribing. If you ever have any questions you'd like to see me cover, make sure you put them in the comments below. Are you battling in the little cup? What team are you using? Let me know in the comments below. If you're not subscribed yet and you got value out of this video, make sure you consider subscribing and liking the video. Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next video.